Now let's briefly introduce to you the inverse tangent function. So remember what the tangent graph looked like in the tangent function? I have it listed up here. It has a repeating graph every segment. What we'll need to do again, because that does not uh, fit a one-to-one -one function, we need to restrict the domain of the normal tangent function from negative pi halves to pi halves and just focus on one repetitive cycle, one cycle of the tangent function. From that, we can take corresponding values, interchange them, and draw down here what its inverse tangent function would look like. The domain of the inverse is from negative infinity to positive infinity. That makes sense because the range of the regular tangent function is from negative infinity all the way up to positive infinity. And likewise, the range of the inverse function has values from negative pi halves to positive pi halves. That matches the domain of my regular tangent function from negative pi halves to pi halves. Also remember that pi halves and negative pi halves were asymptotes, so the values never actually touch that value. They approach it asymptotically. So what we want to move forward to is understanding that we can look at inverse tangent functions, even though the tangent function itself is not a one-to-one -one function. In order to look at its inverse, we need to restrict its domain, only look at a section of that, and that section, we are going to look at its inverse. From there, we can also explore some uh, characteristics of inverse functions, such as finding exact values and so forth. And let's find the exact value of an inverse tangent. So the inverse tangent of root three. Process similar, we're asking is, what's the angle that makes the measurement root three? And I would write that as the angle of theta that equals root three. I'll rewrite that now in terms of its non-inverse, in terms of its regular function, which would be the tangent of theta equals my x value, which is this case is a root three. Second, or the third step then is look at my values or the values of that we're familiar with. And so I have my thetas here. I have my tangent of thetas there. I know I'm looking for a tangent of theta that's a root three. I'll scroll through all my values where I find a root three. It's right there. So what's the angle that produces a value of root three? It's a pi thirds. So my theta, my angle that, it, that makes an inverse tangent root three is pi thirds. And so there's a little bit of a, a couple examples of how we find uh, the inverse exact values of inverse sines, cosines, and tangents, and so forth.